and welcome! How's it going guys? Welcome to Let's Read Your Comments Part 2 where we read your comments. I'm pretty sure you guys could have gotten that from the title. However, 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 we're going to pick today from a video that has been very recent actually. Um, actually it was yesterday's video for you guys. A day ago we shot it. So, um, but the question of the day for this video that I'm reading is... Um, what is a big mess that you made? And <laughs> and that that brought some really fun and interesting questions. Kristen is a nerd says, Alrighty friends, strap on your seatbelts, pull the safety bar down and get ready. When I was about six years old, I hated Danimals brand yogurt. Um, in my six year old mind, it was the worst thing in the world <laughs> ever created. My parents insisted on buying those disgusting bottles. <laughs> Those disgusting bottles of chalk gunk from for me all the time. I got sick of it one day, and while this is such like a six-year-old, and while no one was watching, I gathered up all the bottles and brought them into my living room. Now we have this heat system where the vents are in the floor, and yeah, like you can put things in them. So I poured most of them down into the heat vent and the rest on the floor. I should also note that this occurred during a very cold time of the year, so we had the heat on pretty high and it soon began to burn my parents thought something was on fire until I revealed to them that it the smell is in fact the Danimal yogurt <laughs> in the vents <laughs> needless to say the house smelled disgusting for a very long time and I had many privileges taken away from me for even a longer time this wasn't the last time but it's more entertaining story than me just accidentally setting some stuff on fire <laughs> Kristen is a nerd, you are hilarious. That is beautiful storytelling skills. Um, all right, so let's skip around. Um, About 42 Otters says, a couple of weeks ago I was making cookies with my mom and she put the butter in the microwave to melt it and I put it in for too long and apparently the butter will explode if it gets put in too long so there was butter all over the inside of our microwave. P.S. I'm going through Harry Potter for the first time right now and whenever I finish a book I go to my friend's house and watch the movie. I'm about halfway through the series right now because that's what Amanda's doing right now is she's trying to read a book and then watch the movie to see like how it compares. Um, yeah, so let's skip around a little bit more. Sam McQueen asks, when's the next time you and Amanda are going to live stream Couplecraft? Um, that's not going to be for a week or so because getting this new Mac, there's still a bunch of glitches in it and the only way I can live stream uh, Minecraft is by booting into Windows and when I boot into Windows there's some pretty huge errors that are stopping me from doing that but there'll hopefully be live streams before then um, but not necessarily Minecraft. Chad Shariar, I'm probably butchering that name, says well, one time I woke up at 3 a.m. to get ready for the airport, so I was walking around and I was beyond tired. For being the klutz that I am, I hit my toe on a small table that's in my hallway. So after wallowing in pain, sounding like a dying whale, I made it to the kitchen <laughs> to breakfast. <laughs> so there was a boiled egg. <laughs> I love this story already. So there was a boiled egg that was in the fridge, so I grabbed it and popped it into the microwave. You can already see where this is going. I know you're not supposed to put it in the microwave, but I was tired. So I grabbed a fork, and when the egg was done, I immediately jabbed it in the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! One minute I was making my breakfast, and the, the next minute I was standing in my kitchen with my bowl and fork on the floor and scorching boiled egg all over my face and arms. <gasps> I got some in my kitchen, but most on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I remember my sister was doing something very similar to that. She put eggs in, yeah, by the way, eggs will explode. She put eggs in, um, what do you call it? A pot, right? And she was boiling them. She put three or four eggs in a pot and was boiling them. Um, she put it on high and they started boiling, but evidently she went to bed and forgot they were boiling. So when we woke up, there was egg all over the kitchen, like all over the kitchen. Like if someone had been there, it could have blinded them. By the way guys, sorry that we're not wearing onesies. We haven't bought any yet. We should buy some by next week, hopefully. That would be cool. And then we'll read all these comments in onesies. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was Amanda's idea and I love it. <laughs> Especially if I get a Iron Man onesie. Discorded Fitter Kitty says, today actually, so I finished painting my nails all Minecraft-like in diamond block armor. I put my polishes back in the basket and picked them up to put them away. 
and then one of my hands slipped and they spilled all over the floor. It took me an hour because I had a lot of polish. None broke, thankfully. I'm also extremely glad that I capped all of them and the remover tightly. But I thought you just said you dropped them everywhere. Yeah, I'm confused. Did they spill? <laughs> I, they, she said they spilled. Um, okay, this one is the top voted <laughs> comment. Uh, yesterday I microwaved a burrito. <laughs> Oh, already, a already a bad story start. Yesterday I micro. This is by Edward Munez. Munoz. Yesterday I microwaved a burrito, and instead of putting it in for two minutes, I accidentally pressed twenty minutes. Yeah. I was doing homework and forgot about it, and it exploded in the microwave. Beans and cheese and chili were all over the place. And then while cleaning it up, I burned myself because <laughs> melted cheese has no mercy. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, this last comment from me, and then Amanda's gonna read from a different video, is by Rebecca Lopez. When Matthias says, I was tired and I didn't wanna bring the fork all the way up to my face, so I brought it up halfway and just threw it into my mouth, I nearly died laughing so hard. It made me re realize that when I'm so tired, every little thing can be so hilarious, and I can't explain why. Also, it makes it hard for me to speak full words, and everything gets shortened. Yeah, I totally, <laughs> I totally feel you on that part, because like, Amanda and I will do the same thing, like when we're super tired, we'll like stop our sentence halfway through and the other one will be like, hello, hello, are you gonna finish that sentence? <laughs> and then the other one gets mad, you're like, I thought we had telepathy, shut up. You should know what I'm gonna say. Um, and the rest of the comment is here. As for the question of the day, Rebecca says, the last time there was a big mess, I had just gotten coffee through it drive through and my mom was driving me to my first day on the job for being a tutor at an elementary school. As I was taking a drink, my mom turned, oh no, oh. And, for, and the force caused me to spill coffee down the front of my shirt. Mind you, it was iced, so there wasn't, oh, I was, I was afraid you were gonna be burned. Mind you, it was iced, so I wasn't burned, but I had a stain all on the front. I luckily had an extra sweater, so I changed into that. Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> oh my word, if you would have been late or something like that, that's scary. Has that ever happened to you, Amanda? Where you like, you spill something on yourself, but you're like, well, I gotta do it anyways. I uh, was a nanny for five years for this one family, and I brought tea with me every morning that I would um, <clears throat> work there. I didn't work there in the mornings a lot, mainly on the weekends. So I, I brought myself some hot tea. And I just got there, and I was sitting at the table with the kids while they were eating breakfast. I don't know how it happened, but my uh, my cup of tea spilled all down my outfit, and I had just gotten there. I was there. For, I was supposed to be there for like five or six hours. <laughs> <laughs> my pants were drenched, and the kids were just laughing at me. So I had to go upstairs. <laughs> they were laughing at you. To the parents' bathroom and take a hair dryer and dry my pants off. There's still a stain. It was, it was green tea, so there wasn't a stain. <laughs> but that was my big mess at work. Okay, so I'm going to read the comments from the video that was day 105, Criminals on the Loose. What was the last crazy thing that happened around you that involved the police? Okay, this one, these are going to be kind of scary. I guess these aren't very funny, but this one was crazy. This is by C. Mars. There have been a lot of things going on recently. Someone at my college was arrested for having a gun in the library. Someone else got stabbed at a coffee shop recently. What? And some other stuff. But the one that was closest to me, literally, was a guy in my class getting arrested by a police officer less than five centimeters behind me. <laughs> that is very close. That is close. Turns out it was just an exercise. I'm in a law enforcement course, but it was both a funny and a little nerve-wracking at the same time. I thought you were going to say that he got in trouble for something that, um... Drug-related? Something. Mm. So this is from Norbit White's parentheses Luke. So literally yesterday, I found out that a good friend of mine got robbed at gunpoint. He was just taking the train like he does every day when a random stranger walked up to him and started asking personal questions. Next thing you knew, the guy told him that he has a gun in his bag and let him out of the train to some dark alley where two guys stole his phone. Luckily, they let him go afterwards. Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. I don't know if these are fun to read. <laughs> you picked that video. I did because I'm interested. Whoa, this is a long comment by Ricardo Santa. Where I used to live, I moved places with... Oh, where I used to live before I moved places was strange. A car was engulfed in flames just outside my old house across the road, and the next morning the car was barely recognizable. That was one incident. I remember an incident when Matthias and I were coming home from a play, 
and we were on the freeway and a car just was in flames oh, and yeah. you could feel the heat and we were like four lanes over and it was on the when side we were driving by yeah. yeah we could feel the heat that was crazy and there's people like standing right next to it too like i was afraid it was gonna blow up and the other time i saw a car engulfed in flames is that i was at the mall and I was in the parking lot driving, trying to get out of the parking lot. And there is a Chick-fil-A right next to it. And all of a sudden, this car it just burst into flames. And um, it was pretty high, too. And I could feel heat from that, too. That was kind of crazy. Another was a stolen car was parked outside of our house. And we thought it was the neighbor. So three days went past, and we took a closer look at the car. The car was unlocked. We noticed that the car wheels only had four bolts, and when it was a five bolt. We called the cops, and they came and towed the car away we heard rumors too that apparently someone overdosed and died next door to us a few blocks down across the train tracks was the house where we were told someone committed suicide by shooting themselves or shooting himself yikes these are dark lastly someone had done a prank on our front door so when we opened the front door they had dumped a toilet roll and lit it on fire so i grabbed a pole and a machete and ran outside pitch black at night and in the distance i saw a figure walking and as soon as he saw me, he ran, so I chased after him. I couldn't find him after that because he disappeared, but it was weird how I wasn't even afraid. You grabbed a machete? Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was living in my old house. Now at my new place, I tackled the guy that was running away from the cops right outside my place. I had two other civilians help me capture the guy, and we pinned him down on the tarmac until the cops arrived. And that only happened recently, like two or three months ago? Wow. This is by Miranda Perry. That kind of sounds like a singer's name. Another time about... Yeah, Mariah Carey. Or Katy Perry. <laughs> it's like Mar Mariah Carey and Katy Perry mixed together. Another time it was about two years after moving into our house, we accidentally set off our security alarm in the morning. Well, my dad took over to turn it off for some reason, but we didn't think anything of it and kept continuing our... This is going to be scary. And kept continuing our morning. Then all of a sudden we see cops creeping silently around our side yard oh and, my word. and into the backyard. And I saw it first, so I freaked out. I was in fourth grade, I think, and I just started to get ready for, for school. And there's random cops around my house. Turns out it was just because we didn't turn our alarm off fast enough. And no one thought to call them to explain. Uh, oh, man. I thought that you're going to have, like, a creeper in your house. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Okay, this is from Melzy. Last weekend, a guy stabbed his 71-year-old mother to death down the block. He used to work for the man my father works for. Bit shocking for a tiny town in New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand? <laughs> yeah, but that's creepy. That sort of happened in our neighborhood this week, which is creepy. But anyways, on a lighter note, thanks for watching our video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will have... A video like this every single week on Fridays where we read your comments so be sure to comment and you might hear your comment in our videos thank you very much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please click like and subscribe and high five I remember that um, when I was living at my parents house we lived near a wash and like the, the part of town that I used to live in was like the really old part of our town and um, one night, it was like 3 in the morning, I heard all of these sirens and these people talking and I woke up and I looked out my window and there was a cop car right next to my house. And welcome! How's it going guys? Welcome to Let's Read Your Comments Part 2 where we read your comments. I'm pretty sure you guys could have gotten that from the title. However, 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 we're going to pick today from a video that has been very recent, actually. Um, actually, it was yesterday's video for you guys. A day ago, we shot it. So, um, but the question of the day for this video that I'm reading is, um, what is a big mess that you made? And, <laughs> and that, that brought some really fun and interesting questions. Kristen is a nerd says, Alrighty friends, strap on your seatbelts, pull the safety bar down and get ready. When I was about six years old, I hated Danimal's brand yogurt. Um, in my six year old mind, it was the worst thing in the world it ever created. My parents insisted on buying those disgusting bottles, <laughs> those disgusting bottles of chalk gunk from, for me all the time. 
I got sick of it one day, and while, this is such like a six year old, and while no one was watching, I gathered up all the bottles and brought them into my living room. Now we have this heat system where the vents are in the floor, and yeah, like you can put things in them, so I poured most of them down into the heat vent and the rest on the floor. I should also note that this occurred during a very cold time of the year, so we had the heat on pretty high, and it soon began to burn. My parents thought something was on fire until I revealed to them that it, the smell was in fact the Danimal yogurt <laughs> in the vents. <laughs> Needless to say, the house smelled disgusting for a very long time, and I had many privileges taken away from me for even a longer time. This wasn't the last time, but it's more entertaining story than me just accidentally setting some stuff on fire. <laughs> Kristen is a nerd. You are hilarious. That is beautiful storytelling skills. Um, all right, so let's skip around. Um, About 42 Otters says, A couple of weeks ago I was making cookies with my mom, and she put the butter in the microwave to melt it, and I put it in for too long, and apparently the butter will explode if it gets put in too long, so there was butter all over the inside of our microwave. P.S. I'm going through Harry Potter for the first time right now, and whenever I finish a book, I go to my friend's house and watch the movie. I'm about halfway through the series right now, because that's what Amanda's doing right now, is she's trying to read a book and then watch the movie to see like how it compares. Um, yeah, so let's skip around a little bit more. Sam McQueen asks, when's the next time you and Amanda are going to live stream CoupleCraft? Um, that's not going to be for a week or so because getting this new Mac, there's still a bunch of glitches in it and the only way I can live stream um, Minecraft is by booting into Windows and when I boot into Windows there's some pretty huge errors that are stopping me from doing that but they'll hopefully be live streams before then um, but not necessarily Minecraft. Chad Shariar, I'm probably butchering that name, says well, one time I woke up at 3 a.m. to get ready for the airport, so I was walking around and I was beyond tired. For being the klutz that I am, I hit my toe on a small table that's in my hallway. So after wallowing in pain, sounding like a dying whale, I made it to the kitchen to breakfast. <laughs> so there was a boiled egg. <laughs> I love this story already. So there was a boiled egg that was in the fridge, so I grabbed it and popped it into the microwave. You can already see where this is going. I know you're not supposed to put it in the microwave, but I was tired. So I grabbed a fork, and when the egg was done, I immediately jabbed it in the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! One minute I was making my breakfast, and the, the next minute I was standing in my kitchen with my bowl and fork on the floor and scorching boiled egg all over my face and arms. <gasps> I got some in my kitchen, but most on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I remember my sister was doing something very similar to that. She put eggs in, yeah, by the way, eggs will explode. She put eggs in, um, what do you call it? A pot, right? And she was boiling them. She put three or four eggs in a pot and was boiling them. Um, she put it on high and they started boiling, but evidently she went to bed and forgot they were boiling. So when we woke up, there was egg all over the kitchen, like all over the kitchen. Like if someone had been there, it could have blinded them. By the way guys, sorry that we're not wearing onesies. We haven't bought any yet. We should buy some by next week, hopefully. That would be cool. And then we'll read all these comments in onesies. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was Amanda's idea and I love it. <laughs> Especially if I get a Iron Man onesie. Discorded Fitter Kitty says, today actually, so I finished painting my nails all Minecraft-like in diamond block armor. I put my polishes back in the basket and picked them up to put them away. And then one of my hands slipped and they spilled all over the floor. It took me an hour because I had a lot of polish. None broke, thankfully. I'm also extremely glad that I capped all of them and the remover tightly. But I thought you just said you dropped them everywhere. Yeah, I'm confused. Did they spill? <laughs> I, they, she said they spilled. Um, okay, this one is the top voted comment. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I microwaved a burrito. <laughs> already, a burrito? already a bad story start. Yesterday I micro. This is by Edward Munez. Munoz. Yesterday I microwaved a burrito, and instead of putting it in for two minutes, I accidentally pressed twenty minutes. <laughs> I was doing homework and forgot about it, and it exploded in the microwave. Beans and cheese and chili were all over the place. And then while cleaning it up, I burned myself because melted <laughs> cheese has no mercy. 